Hello all, another quick video, this time revolving around Plex. It is a media server, so I'll show you how to set it up and how you'll be able to use your collections of movies to be streamed in your TV or mobile whenever required. So to start with, you have to go to uh, Plex official website, which is Plex.tv. Once you are at Plex, you have to go to download and you need to download Plex Media Server. This is really important. Once, if you are in Windows, download for Windows. Just go ahead and download this. Install this application. And once you install, you will be able to open your Plex Media Server. I also have my Plex application, which I've downloaded along with the Media Server. So Plex, Plex application will have whatever you've stored, whatever you've saved. So my account as of now has a very little collection. I'll show you how to add some. So this is my account and I have added some movies so far. What you will have to do is once you have installed Plex Media Server, you have to directly just go ahead and type Plex Media Server, click on it. You would see it in your taskbar. You have to double click and your Plex Media Server will open. So once your Plex Media Server is open, you can then add your libraries. And you do that by just going to your place, which is your home. Y usually it is in home. So here, once you're at libraries, you'll be able to add. So you click on add. And I already have some movies, but just to show you, I'm gonna click demo. I'm gonna give next. I'm gonna browse from I think it's H. Okay, H. Movies. I'm gonna give Dolby. I have some trailers here, so what I'll do is I'll just add this. I'll add the library. You can see everything that's happening in back end here. The libraries are getting added. Give it a couple minutes if you have more files, but if it is less, it's going to be done in a few minutes. It's already done in mine. And once this is done, you will be able to play this in your TV and a l you know phone or laptop whenever required. Most of my files are saved now. Yeah, so it is done. All these are my demo files and I'll be able to play it. And how do you link to your TV? It is pretty simple. You have to uh, just type plex.tv slash link and it will show you uh, the character on your TV, which you have to type in here just to get connected. Okay, and I'm gonna continue in my uh, TV right now. So once you're on Plex, and all you have to do is just go to settings, come all the way down, click on pass through, you have to select HDMI. Once you select, you'll be able to pass through all the audio codec. And all the demo files that I have downloaded, you know, that I've stored is back here. And once you're in demo, you will be able to uh, play the demo. In my case, I'm playing it first in my TV, uh, just to show you how this whole uh, thing works. And when you start in TV, right? My TV does not have Dolby True HD. And uh, when you look at the details, you will find it is transcoding the audio and it is not directly playing the audio. It is supposed to show as direct play if you have support. So if you have a TV uh, and it is showing transcode, it means it is just transcoding the audio. It is just converting the audio and playing it to you. And uh, you'll be able to find that out with Plex because it will directly show you. And uh, my DTS, you know, works fine. Uh, DTS Master Audio Tracks also works fine in my TV as my TV has the capability. So just as you can see in my settings, if you click, you'll see direct play. That is how it is supposed to show in all of your devices if you have the audio format supports. So if you don't have the audio codec support, it will show as transcode or opus transcoding. In my Fire Stick though, you can directly just you know play the video and even true HD videos will work without any issues. And uh, just to show you, I'm gonna play Dune part one and it has all the audio formats including DTS and True HD. 
so uh, these are all the audio formats and uh, you know the file size all that just for you to uh, take a look you can pause the screen and look at it but uh, the true HD and DTS master audio track uh, works perfectly fine I'm gonna play it So as you can see in my first stick, it is direct play. It is a true HD file and it is completely capable of playing the audio, lossless audio, the way you are intended to hear it. It is a very good thing with what the fire stick can do. Again, with the DTS track, it is similar, it is a direct play in my Fire Stick, which even if it is 7.1, 5.1 DTS HD or DTS HDMA, it is able to uh, play the file as it is, and uh, which is one other reason why I bought the Fire Stick. My TV is not capable of doing it, and also you can't play very large files that are about 70 or 80 GB with your TV operating system. Uh, one more example, uh, this is Oppenheimer, it is again a DTS master audio track, a lossless track, which is a direct play. stopping the video right here I think I've covered most of what is required if it is transcoding that you're seeing in your Plex it means the audio is getting converted and you're not hearing the audio the way you're intended to hear and if you have a capable soundbar and fire stick and you're still not able to get it drop a comment and I'll be able to help you but that's pretty much it and I'll see you in another one